springtime in Nebraska folks here it is almost April 1st it's actually springtime <laughs> and we get a little blizzard here the last couple days so I'm getting ready to plow us out but uh, we got a hunt coming up for you here with Sean Hyden's excited because he's got the new uh, ELDVT Hornady bullet he's going to try it out here he thinks he's got it sighted in pretty good we're going to see how it performs on coyotes and we do call in a coyote here and we'll shoot it and we'll check it out and show you what the bullet does to it but make sure you stay to the end because sean's going to try a long shot here that's going to blow your mind <coughs> i never seen a coyote get so pooped out Okay, we'll start it out with a female interrogation. There's a little swampy area out in front of us with some little choppy hills and some sparse trees. And like I said, off to the right, there's a grove of cedar trees. Sean's looking straight north, and the wind's coming out of the northwest at a pretty good clip. There's one howling out in front of us. We got one coming from our left of the howls. Sounds like an adult coyote howling. Oh, Randy to the left. One coming right here. Right here. I see that coyote coming in. He went behind a little knob, so I'm trying to move my tripod around so I can get squared away. I hit the hot button on my remote. I'm playing a soft baby jackrabbit. Let's see if he'll pop up somewhere. Here it comes. Right where it was. Step closer. About 240 yards right in the bottom. I can't see. Oh. Sean mentioned it too, looking through his scope, but it's hard to focus today for some reason. It kind of looks like a mirage out there. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. It's got to be 250. Well, it looks like that coyote's got his mind made up. I don't know if it sees us or what, but it's time to shoot. Shoot him? Yeah. Down he goes. Well, we kind of had a little standoff there. Held that one in. Started out with a hot dog, some higher pitch female invitations. Then I used the alpha dog electronic collar. Did some little lower pitch female 
uh, interrogation house and bingo curled to our left that's actually where we were going to go wasn't it yeah that's kind of our original spot we set yeah. normally but kind of the way things are in the wind today we're more uh, east winds north northwest and if you notice, well, typically they always come from over oh, here yeah they, i mean they always come from over there usually <laughs> Very few of them have ever come, but that one howled off in there, so we're going to go over there next. But uh, if you notice, I put on, hit the hot button, and put on a little rabbit. The collars were straight up wind, and I think that kind of helped keep that coyote from circling clear around that hill. I seen him coming, but uh, or it, whatever it is. I think it's a ham. Look big. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but I couldn't move. I had to actually get clear up around, move my tripod jack around the legs. And uh, then there he was, but he picked us out. Bella's looking right at it, and, but it was kind of a standoff for quite a while. So just shoot it. It was a good distance to test out the new. Oh yeah. Hornady ELDVT. The one everybody's looking for, I guess. And an, this is an 80 grain. Yeah. And a 240. I'm shooting a 243 Ackley. Which would be about like a six millimeter. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it whacked so, that one. Let's go see. Yeah, how bad I'm it curious it. to see what it did. Yeah. They're supposed to violently. I call it the ELD, the violent, but we'll see. <laughs> All They're right. supposed to expand. Oh yeah. Like really yeah. expand. Oh, All right. nice. All right. She's excited to go find it. Yeah. Well, Sean, there it is. Yeah. It looks like it almost flipped him over backwards yeah. the way he's laying because he was facing that way and then it touched him. Yeah. That's a good size, huh? Yeah, Dull. That's, that's gotta be a male. Yep. The question is, did the bullet come out? No, it did not. Yep. Where to go in at? Can't even tell. Right in the chest somewhere. Yeah, I mean, there's. Look at that nice white coyote too. There's nothing on it. I mean, I can't yeah. even, can't find entrance or exit. Yeah, that's quite a bullet. Yeah, it's the 80 grain VT, and the, I'm shooting it out an Ackley, and it's going. I just loaded them this morning. And they're going 3480 feet per second. Oh, yeah. it, it never knew it hit it. No. That's made by Hornady. That yeah. bullet. Yeah. I was kind of wondering out of the Ackley, I was afraid I'd blow holes, but I mean, you yeah. can't even find nothing. Right. It's going that speed. Okay, well, one down. Good shooting. It kind of gives us. I've always been a speed guy, but I had to sacrifice BC on the bullet, but this new bullet kind of, you get best of both worlds. <laughs> I might have to try them, Sean. Yeah. Out of my little 243 regular. <laughs> okay. Thank God for gorilla tape. Nice coyote. Yeah, that's a good sandy old coyote there. Yep. Would that take? Not even five minutes, Harley? No, no. Yep. Yeah, just howled, two little series of howls, and there it was. We've had a couple three dry runs now, so I'm going to whip out the hot dog to start this stand out. Well, the wind has now changed to the southwest, kind of doing a crosswind deal from right to left. Over that ridge there to the south, there's some sparse cedar trees, so we're kind of cleaning it out before we get in there. <coughs> now I'm going to blow the little dog white mouthpiece and do some distress. comes one just perfect coming from the right it'll probably want to swing around left I suppose downwind
<laughs> picked up a cactus in his paw. Got a cactus. The metal arcs come a little early maybe this year. You can sure hear them singing a song out there. Look at that sucker go downwind. They always do pretty much. Sean could have shot that coyote several times by now. But folks, you know, we're trying to get you some footage of a coyote coming in. Uh-oh, Sean's getting worried. Where to go? It looks like a double lunger. That coyote thinks something bit it, so it's trying to bite the spot the bullet hit. It'll spin till it runs out of blood. Well, all right, another one bites the dust, Sean. What was yeah. that, about 100, 120? Or yeah, it was right at 100, I think. 100 yards, okay. Well, that worked pretty good. Winds like this, and that one come just perfect. He's going to put the old downwind creep on us. Got in a couple little crevices out there. <laughs> I was yeah. starting to get worse. I know. I didn't think I could disappear. And right there, it disappeared. I'm like, yeah. we better get him. All right. That's the second one with them bullets. Yeah. I don't think I hit that one. You hit him a little bit, like Back. double lung. Yeah. You know, and he had to bleed. That's what they do. Just like a deer or an elk, you shoot him or a bear. Shoot them through the lungs, they run off until their lungs fill up with blood. Yeah, I hit him back a little bit. Yeah. Well, Bella's just taking it all in in the middle of her nap. We screwed it up, so now she's up awake. <laughs> all right, well, let's go see what we got. Well, it looks a little smaller one. What is yeah, it? A uh, little bitty rat-tailed yeah. <laughs> male. Yeah, had a little mange on the tail for some reason. Well, you hit I it. I hit him right in here. That's where the blood is. Yeah. So it, it went clear did. through. Yeah. I suppose it didn't really. I suppose a hole about the size of a quarter coming yeah. out. Yeah, but yeah, right through both lungs. So what were them bullets you're shooting today again? ELD VTs from Hornady. From Hornady, yeah. They're new. Brand new ones, huh? So, didn't you really even have your gun perfectly sighted in, no. right? Huh? No. I just threw them together and yeah. <laughs> took one shot before we left to make sure it was close. And it... Yeah. Well, they're working. We got a late start, so had a few dry runs, but we're back at it here. So, sun's up a little bit. We got time for at least one more. Yeah, and it's our good spot, so. Yep. We'll be back here someday. Definitely a little yeah, smaller. smaller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. On to the next one, folks. Well, one good way to practice long shots is when you're out here and no coyote comes in on the stand. <laughs> then you take a practice shot, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any drop data on these bullets because I just loaded them up this morning. So okay. we'll you... see how close it is okay. to my old one. Right. Load. He's going to shoot a 
sandy spot, Gopher Mound or something over there. Uh, little, How far is it? A little sandy spot is 560. It's got a little, in the, in the center there's a little black speck of something. Okay. I'll see. Right. Winds left to right. Yeah. I don't. Let's see. Five. Could get us close. Alright, let me see if I can find what you're looking at. Okay, the sandy mound. There's a lot of mirage. Boy, again, even Sean mentioned it. Looks like a mirage yeah, out there. For some reason today, it's just hard to focus. Ready? Yep. Oh. You hit that little black spot? Yeah, that's what I was aiming at. <laughs> that would have been a dead coyote. Yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. I'm liking the VTs more and more all the time. Yeah. Well, we were just below them yuccas. 500 and... 560. Yep. It actually... That's the toughest grass I was aiming at. It hit right there. Oh, that is. I think I can see the bullet right there. Where? Right. Seeing that white powder? Yeah. Look close. I'm sh yep. <laughs> <laughs> there's the bullet, and there's where it hit from 560 yards. He was aiming at that little patch of That's a little grass in the middle. Bounced out. That's what's left of it. Huh. Huh. Well, you got a souvenir, Sean. Maybe it's the secret sauce in the bullet. <laughs> <laughs>